Hi, my name is Nia and today I will be talking about how to organize your workload with a very easy and simple method that I use myself on a daily basis. Um, so with this, um, I'm mainly talking about how to organize your work assignments for your classes. So throughout high school, I kind of saw that I struggled with knowing what assignments were due for what class, what day. So I kind of got everything mixed up and sometimes I wasn't able to complete things on time because in my own head, I thought I knew what I had to do, but I'm more of a visual learner, or like visual, I have to see it. So one way I did was I um, used a sheet of paper and I would write down my class, um, the date and what assignment was due. Now with that technique, I've realized that it's very hard to keep up with it. So I would find myself losing my paper. I would not be able to understand my handwriting and I would just get everything kind of confused or I'd have all these scribbles from where I messed up a few times and I found that using my phone actually something that we all use pretty much some of us most of us use on a daily basis has actually really helped me be able to do what I need to do I have it all right down in front of me so that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to organize your workload and it doesn't really have to be just school it could be anything school homework like appointments, doctor's appointments, and stuff like that. And But today I will be showing you the schoolwork and how to organize and make a list on your phone of what you need to do and when it's due. So here I just use my notes app. You can really use anything you want. Um, and as you can see here, I have, it's kind of a reflection, I have the, oops, sorry. I have the name of the class is over here. So this one's communications, public speaking, and then the due dates, and then so for some of my classes, like this one, for example, we have another website that we use. So McGraw Hill Connect, um, I have that over here. So as you can see, I have the dates in order. So it's February 6th, and then the next due date is March 1st that I know of so far. So I'll have that right under it, and I'll list out under each class the, uh, the date in order. So... Let's say I had one assignment due on the 2nd, and then I have another assignment due on the 5th. I'll put February 2nd, and then next to that, I like to use, sorry, my phone locked. I like to use these little check marks, so I can go in and just click check if I do it. Sorry. I can click check or uncheck it, and that actually really helps me instead of crossing it out on a piece of paper and being like, oh, snap, I didn't get to do that, or messing it up. So that is how you, I find myself organizing my work. And you can see here, so we have communications on the first one. You scroll down, my next class, English, the date and the assignment due. Next class, the date, the name, the assignment due. And you can see how this one I was saying the February 2nd, February 4th, and I believe that's February 6th. And it just goes so on and so on. And then here it's very easy because you can just check it off when you do it. So that instead of scribbling it out or erasing it or marking it off, you still have a concept of what you have done and what else you need to do for that week. So I really hope you guys found this video useful and I hope that this will help you become more organized in your work. Um, you can really use any platform you want. It doesn't have to be the notes app. It could be Google Drive. It could just be anything that you have on your phone that's available. And I highly recommend doing it. Thank you guys all so much. Have a good one.